this is behind the counter at a local Japanese okonomiyaki restaurant. So I'm back with another behind the counter and this time it's gonna be a hot one. But like always before I start, if you wanna see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you wanna help support the channel, check out the Tokyo and Japan merch. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels, check out my Discord community. That all said, Yusuke should be arriving shortly. Here we go. I'm taking you inside to show you again never seen before footage of what really happens at super local mom and pop Japanese restaurants. Today, we're going behind the counter at a family owned father and son okonomiyaki teppan restaurant called Saya in Sendagaya, Tokyo. The restaurant was opened 27 years ago, and Yusuke, the owner's son, runs the shop these days with plans to carry on the family business in the future. Good morning! So this is Yusuke, the manager and main chef at the shop we're in today. His father actually has a second teppanyaki shop, which is nearby, but it's reserved for mainly VIP guests, which the father is in charge of. Yusuke is usually the first one to arrive at 9.30, so what time are the staff coming? Oku, oh cool, he's changed into his uniform. One of the first things he does is turn on the tepan grill. Tepan in English meaning metal plate, which is where the food is cooked on. Apparently, it takes a while for the steel tepan to warm up. He has about half an hour before the other staff arrives, so he makes use of this time to prepare the kitchen. Are you from Tokyo? When you were young, did you think you would be a chef? <laughs> cool, how'd you get your start? <laughs> Where did you go to school? Oh, wow, what was your major? What instrument? Really? <laughs> Hardcore! So are you married? Okay. <laughs> oh, what kind of girls? <laughs> now he prepares the rice for today. He prefers to pre-soak the rice overnight, all the while keeping it refrigerated to maintain the quality. On average, he uses about 4 kilograms, almost 9 pounds of rice per day, opting to use Koshi Hikari, one of the most popular rice brands in Japan. So Yusuke is 34 years old and in total he's been working at the shop for about 15 years which is almost half of his entire life. In fact, he was only 7 years old when his father first started the restaurant so it's always been very much part of his life. At 10, he sets up the storefront. The wooden sign he's slipping now reads that the shop is in the middle of getting ready which still means it's closed but it'll be opening soon. That's morijio. It's a traditional Japanese custom where a pile of salt is placed at the front entrance to ward off bad luck. Oh, the owner Yusuke's dad is here. So can I ask, why did you start this restaurant? Back then, he had the option to choose whatever restaurant he wanted to start, but he decided on teppanyaki because he thought it was the coolest Japanese food. Oh, Nelly, it's so hot back here. <laughs> Now, Yusuke prepares a miso soup, a traditional Japanese dish generally consisting of dashi stock and miso paste, and then varies depending on the region and personal preference, often included in a typical Japanese breakfast, but also served at lunch and dinner, such as in the shop, as it complements the main dish. Eggs are another ingredient that the shop uses a lot. He only uses high-quality domestic eggs from places like Okukujiran in Ibaraki and Date Tamago in Fukushima. Oh wow, I don't usually see shops adding eggs into their miso soup. <laughs> it's great that his own family traditions have made it into their everyday menu. Hey, how old are you? Why did you decide to work here? 
あってでその中で鉄板やってみたいっていう時に店長とかオーナーさんがやってみればっていうのそれでやらせていただいてる形です Oh, the rice is ready. So, what did you do before this job? I was a teacher. 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 Are you from Tokyo as well? Yeah, I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I see. When did you move here? I was a teacher. Apparently, he got this job through his mom, who knew Yusuke's dad, which allowed him to start working right after he moved to Tokyo. Oh, another worker is here! What's that? Oh, what ingredients do you add? I feel you gotta keep the shop secret sauce a secret. The AC doesn't go there? Oh, damn! <laughs> Are you gonna fix it? <laughs> really? <laughs> so, what do you love most about being a Teppan Yaki chef? Oh, Yusuke's dad's back! Can I ask you another question? Yes, please. What do you think makes this shop stand out from the rest? おお、私が言うと、テッパン焼きマンだ。ちょっと見てみますかおいしいぜ。私が言うと、テッパン焼きマンだ。ちょっと見てみますかおいしいぜ。私が言うと、テッパン焼きマンだ。ちょっと見て
How long have you been working here? Yeah, まだ三ヶ月ぐらいですよ。And how old are you? 二十六です。Oh, why did you decide to work here? 飲食が好きで、もともとあの群馬県の方にいたんですけど、まあたまたまこうとお知り合いになることができて、ぜひ働かないかということでこっち来ました。Got it. And what are your responsibilities? 僕はあのホールの方を回らせてもらってます。Ah, ね、Dope. Now it's time to prep the noodles. The worker needs to wash it, break it apart, then add oil to ensure that it doesn't stick to the teppan grill. So, what do you do when you're not working? Do you go by yourself? So, this is a story. Finally, they're open for business. Oh, the first customers are already here. The seats are filled up pretty quickly, and Yusuke immediately begins cooking several orders all at one time. At max, he can make up to 24 okonomiyaki all at the same time. That's some real multitasking. And apparently, when he's making all of the orders, he plays hard rock and punk music in his head to get into his zone. This whole process is made even more efficiently with teamwork as one person cooks while the other finishes the plating, which includes saucing, toppings, and sides. And then once plated, it's immediately taken out to the customer's table. Quite an efficient team. And each full lunch set around 800 yen, about $5.85. Damn, given all these orders, you must already be tired. <laughs> Damn, the way he poured that chicken bone soup, though! That's some next level style! I love it! As a second generation restaurant owner, it used to be difficult for Yusuke to be compared to his father early on in his career. But over the years, as he honed and mastered his skills, he doesn't feel that same pressure anymore and looks forward to creating the best okonomiyaki as possible. So, what's the most challenging part about managing a teppanyaki restaurant? Have any of your previous workers started their own restaurant? When the orders slow down on the teppan grill, Yusuke of course helps out on the floor, serving and cleaning. That's a lot of dishes. <laughs> By the way, have you ever wanted to open your own restaurant? What about you? Cafe? Oh, nice. Apparently, he used to work at an Italian restaurant before working here, but says that now he's trying to gain as much experience as possible from this restaurant so he'll be well prepared when he tries to start his own cafe. In fact, he also helps the owner's cafe during lunchtime so he gets double the experience here. As the overall lunchtime rush slows down, the workers start preparing for dinner in the back. Finally, the lunch hour is done! Oh, Yusuke is cleaning the grill! After cooking, burn marks are naturally left on the teppan. To ensure that it's able to be used for many years, he performs a deep scrub and clean each time after every shift, restoring it back to its original shine. Meanwhile, the staff prepare the otoshi for dinner. Otoshi is an appetizer dish that customers are offered when they arrive in exchange for a table charge. This dining custom is common for many Japanese bars and drinking restaurants. I guess today he's making a miso flavored pork and vegetable saute. And although it's just a small dish for Otoshi, it's clear that it requires a lot of effort to prepare, but this is probably why the shop is a favorite among locals. It smells amazing. Now he prepares lunch. Do you know what you're making? <laughs> That's a lot of eggs for just three people. Oh, it's also for the workers at the other teppanyaki shop. 
It smells so delicious. Interestingly, at this shop, they change the menu every single day. They almost never have the same thing in over a month. So he decided to make a pork and shrimp garlic fried rice. Today, the youngest worker is responsible for making makanai, which is the meal in Japan offered by the shop to its workers. Apparently, they take turns making makanai every day, and today, it's his turn. Jeez, it looks phenomenal! Yusuke, how's the taste? Damn, do you usually eat this much? <laughs> After makanai, it's fairly common in Japan for workers to take a nap in the shop before the long dinner hours ahead. And that's another one in the books. If you want to visit this shop and experience it yourself, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. But that's pretty much another one behind the counter. If you guys like this video, like always, help me out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.